Uh, I think you have to find the, bizarrely, you have to find the, the kind of humanity of it. You have to find, in a way, the sympathy of it. Um, because I think there's nothing more boring than a kind of straightforward villain who just wants to do evil. Actually, what you have to find is the, the kind of mitigating factors. You have to find the, the sympathies and the complexities within the character to make them interesting. Um, I mean, for example, you know, the character of Rosanna in Vampires of Venice, her whole motivation was actually quite arguably benign. She just wanted a very small piece of the earth to save her entire race. So, you know, and, and that, you know, means that her motivation is, is complex uh, and not, you know, not simple and not just pure evil. And I think that's the secret of it. It's which, is, which is kind of the way the Doctor investigates as well, isn't it? it? You know, he never approaches a monster with the intention of killing it. He wants to know what it is and why, and he's excited by yeah, what its motivation is. Because in a way, because, I mean, the Doctor Who is, uh, is essentially a detective story. Every week, and um, you know, he'll, you know, they arrive. There is a problem. There is something going on. He then has to find out when or what has led them to this point. And uh, yeah, so understanding the kind of the the, the intention and the uh, you know is, is a big part of that sort of investigative process. Presumably, though, in the, in the coming episodes, maybe get some resolution to the whole astronaut kills the doctor. Seems like an issue that could come up. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I imagine they'll probably address that at some point. Uh, I, I genuinely don't know, because the, the thing is, the, the one downside of, of working on Doctor Who is that you inevitably learn a lot of stuff that's going to happen. Um, so, you know, I knew months and months in advance, probably before Matt and Karen, uh, you know, who Riversong was. Uh, because there's a specific line in the God Complex that I needed to know the information to write this line. And it's the one kind of thing is that I, because I want to be watching it like you guys, I want to be watching it with my kids and enjoying it. Um, but so I, I deliberately don't know how the series ends because, you know, I'm, I'm a, 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 I love the show as a viewer as well as a contributor to it. The brilliance of Stephen is that he will tell you the things that you need to know, but he takes so much pleasure in holding back and... Yeah, he's really back. mean like that, man, I've got to say. The amount of times he's told us, yeah, you know, a desert in Utah, brilliant, go and get that location, take your cameras out there, take your cast, and then we get the pages and go, oh my God, what's he done? This is not... He just, he just loves curveballs, um, and, and, and actually we love them too, because it means we're constantly surprised. Well then, uh, so, Matt, when? When do we get to see <laughs> new ones? Well, actually, yeah, uh, uh, I think uh, the next episode is the 27th of August on BBC America. <laughs> 9-8 Central, yeah, we, 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 I think that's right. 9-8 Central, that's right, yeah? Yeah, thank you very much, lady in the front row. Um, <laughs> they, don't, they don't have Central, where you guys come from? No, no just Greenwich Mean yeah. Time, I think it is. I have no clue what I'm talking about. But, uh, and are, we, are, we, are we showing things? Yeah, but I, what I, I want to do there, I, I suspect there may be some questions.